Okay, time for another update. This is video collection part 46, I believe. I got some VHS, a lot of DVDs, and one Blu-ray. That one Blu-ray being Expendables. Awesome movie. Um, starting with the VHS, uh, just two that I want to point out here. I actually found a um, VHS of Mondo Kane. Um, it says on Shockwave, although um, it says here from Eddie Entertainment. It also says that right there. So interesting to find that. <clears throat> and this one looked interesting, Children of Rage. You can see here's a few more VHS. And then a few DVDs that I got. that I'm not going to talk about, but now some that I am. Easy Riders Raging Bulls. This is a, a documentary about 70s film. It's good stuff. I've seen this before. Um, recommend that. I picked up the complete Metropolis with the 25 minutes of restored footage. I have watched it. actually um, watched it on Netflix before I bought it. I've seen the original, well, the uh, the previous version of Metropolis that we had before, obviously, um, and the new footage really adds to it. So I'll pick that up. <clears throat> I spit on your grave, the original. Um, I've, I have, of course, seen this. Saw this way back in uh, the. Um, VHS era, um, but I've never owned it, so pick that up. Pick this up. It's a <clears throat> Peck and Paw film. Later in his career, Convoy. Um, I wanted to pick this up because I saw the the uh, trailer for it on one of those trailer compilations. looked looked uh, fun, and it's out on cheesy flicks. It was interesting, uh, when I went to the video store, it was a Suncoast, where I get a lot of the newer um, DVDs, uh, the guy said they were having a run on this film, that they'd sold several of these in the, just that week, and um, it's not like they had a special display or something, it's tucked away on the shelf with everything else. Um, I don't know why it was so popular all of a sudden, but there it is. <clears throat> Pick this up cheap. I've never seen this, but I've heard lots of people talk about it uh, being cheesy and whatnot. So I figured, well, it's a few dollars. Um, <laughs> gymnastics and ninjas. Um, it's worth at least watching once for the few dollars I paid for it. From uh, Code Red, Shriek Show, The Chilling. I picked this up mainly because it's... Uh, there's Linda Blair in it. I'm a fan. Um, I haven't watched that yet. Let's see. There's a three film set of non exploitation movies. That looked interesting. Uh, Black Gestapo and the Black Six double feature. My local grocery store actually had, um, it actually has DVDs, and these were $5 a piece from, uh, from uh, Warner Brothers. But I picked up Barry Lyndon and The Ballad of Cable Hogue at the grocery store. <laughs> uh, finally, I picked up three more selections, which total five movies from the Roger Corman cult classics um, Shout Factory collection you can see the Evil Twice Dead Death Sport Battle Truck and the three Slumber Party Massacre movies uh, I haven't watched any of these yet but I have watched these three films and uh, interesting stuff I would say the uh, my favorite is, is the first one but uh, interesting stuff anyway that's all the uh, all for this update
I'll catch you next time.